Some South Suburban neighbors are scared to go for a walk, even a drive down the street because of a spike in violence. So what's the plan to make it safer? Always investigating, CBS 2's Tara Molina asked Dalton's leaders that very question tonight. You're afraid to, to walk to the store or you're afraid to uh, go in your backyard and to have a barbecue. People are scared. Pastor William Fleshman of Dalton's Abundant Living Christian Center says he hears it every day. They're afraid uh, that, that they want something done. Recent killings have rocked this community. A shootout at a used car dealership injured a police officer. Days later, Marsha Bowman was shot and killed driving her children. 16-year-old Akira Boston killed sitting in a car outside a convenience store. And just days ago, a fatal drive-by shooting. There are four of the violent crimes in Dalton we mapped out this week. Many reported on or near Sibley Boulevard. Tonight, there's a new mark on that map, just down Sibley in Calumet City, where a man was shot and rushed to the trauma center Thursday. In another neighboring community, Riverdale, Police found a woman's body in an alley, badly burned, strangled. You know, it is alarming. And, uh, you know, I've had some of my residents, I've had some visitors that say, hey, is it safe to come to Dalton? I North sat South down with the village of Dalton's mayor. He says violence isn't just up in Dalton. This criminal activity that, that, that involved in some of these other communities that surround us, uh, they're just not highlighted. As for the problem here? Would you say the city's doing enough? to combat the violence right now? I say that we're doing all that we can uh, with the manpower that we have, but we're going we're gonna to make sure that we, we catch these offenders that uh, committed these recent crimes. Pastor Fleshman calling for something else tonight. I don't think that this is a buck that can be passed. I think that it's time that, that as a community, we really take some ownership for what's going on in our community. Calumet City Police are also investigating a homicide tonight, but I'm told they're in the process of determining if it actually happened in their city limits since the victim was dropped off in Chicago. Reporting on Sibley Boulevard in Dalton tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.